Jesus explains the most essential nourishment for man. The Lord, if man wishes to stay completely healthy in both body and soul, then from childhood he must moderately nourish himself with pure food. Look at me, I am a man as well, as far as my body is concerned. But I eat and drink the same food and quench my thirst with pure, good and healthy wine, and always in the right measure. What I eat and drink now before your eyes, I had already eaten and drank during my childhood years, as did most of my disciples here, nearly all of whom were fishermen and lived from fish. For the surplus of the fish they caught, they received money, and with that they bought the necessary clothes, bread, salt, and also wine, which they drank in moderation with water. Now ask them if any one of them was ever tormented by a sickness, except the one whom I do not wish to specifically indicate to you. I say to you, if the people would have remained with the food that was indicated by the prophet Moses, then the doctors with their drugs and medicines would never have had any work to do. And yet they began to stuff their body, just as the pagans did in the manner of the Epicureans, with hundreds of different so-called delicacies. And thereby, after a short while, they fell into all manner of diseases. The good kind of fish that stays in clean water, prepared in the manner as we have enjoyed it, is the healthiest food for the human body. Where such fishes cannot be found, wheat and barley bread are by themselves the healthiest food for humans, as well as the milk from healthy cows, goats and sheep. Among the legumes, lentils are in first place. And, as with the preparation of pulp, the large Persian maize grain. Only the meat of a few chickens and doves, of a healthy and clean bovine, as well as of goats and sheep, in an entirely bloodless condition, may be consumed as food. Either fried or cooked, but fried is the preferred method. However, the blood of animals should not be consumed by anyone. What I have told you now is and remains the simplest, purest, and healthiest food for man. The rest, especially when eaten in excess, is harmful to him, particularly when it is not prepared in such a way that the wickedness of the nature spirits is removed entirely from it. Now the Supreme City Judge asked me, O Lord and Master, then what about the many different kinds of tasty fruits and roots? Said I, Firstly, the edible fruits must be completely ripe. In that condition they may be eaten in moderation. But nevertheless, it is healthier when they are cooked, fried or dried instead of raw, because by boiling, frying and drying them, the bad and still unfermented nature spirits of life are removed from them. The same goes for roots. You know the fruits and roots that are appropriate for man to consume. However, the hungry and gluttonous people will not be satisfied with that. And instead, they continually discover a great number of things to eat, in the plant kingdom as well as in the animal kingdom. And the results of this are the ever-increasing number of physical sicknesses. Based on what I have told you now, you will be able to conclude for yourself with little effort that, for me, it makes little difference to either, by my will, provide a field with some kind of grain, to fill your granaries with already ripe grain, or to put an already prepared bread before you or anyone else, and also to multiply it if necessary. And so it is the same with all manner of meat. For if I can create living animals, then it will not be impossible for me to create their meat, to prepare it and multiply it as needed.